Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a marks generator thing. So, the way that a marks generator works is sorry about the phone ring. I'm going to restart that. Now, the marks generator thing on a breadboard. As you can see, we got one switch. We got oh, it's a little too close in there. We got two capacitors, brown capacitor, blue capacitor. We got, I think these are like 3,000 ohm resistors. We got one on both sides. Now the way that these are connected is you'd put plus onto this row. It would travel to those sides of the capacitors, the left sides of the capacitors. You'd put it, and then you'd put some electricity into there, travel up the right side, and it would go flow through. It would charge them. And then, what you would do is, because there's resistors there, electricity would take the easiest path, you would turn that switch, and it would just run through the switch. Now, the way, you know, it actually wouldn't run through the switch right now, you'd put something there, on that line, and there. So the switch is just a short, to be honest, and the other stuff. And also, uh... Tell me down in the comments. Hopefully that focuses. Let me zoom in real quickly. If I did a nice job on those solders there. My camera kind of sucks, but as you can see, those solders, I, I, I think I did an okay job there. Yeah, but that's kind of how it works. So it has them in, I think, I don't know what you would call this, in like sequence. And then it has them going parallel to each other. And then the switch is just for a short. Now if you want to, you can use like an arc switch, which basically just makes an arc and it would be automatic. But this one's a switch, because they don't have an arc switch. But yeah, so the idea is, you charge up the capacitors, it would short them, and it would release all the capacitors at once. Which would double or add the voltage from these two together. Thank you for watching.